Welcome to the Time Control Online Learning Center. Today we're going to take a look at the tables that make up the background of time control and how they're structured. I've logged in as Joe Gardner, who is a, uh, an administrator for time control. And let's click on the tables uh, area of the system. Time control has a series of tables in the background uh, that are used for all of time control's functions. Uh, Joe has uh, decided to have the employee table load up by default when he goes to the tables tab. So we see the, uh, the table information. Here at the top we can see the tables from which Joe can choose in order to manipulate the system. Uh, each of these tables has the same type of interface and there are some tables which are essential to the working of time control and some which are less essential. Uh, absolutely required we have to have user, the user table filled. This determines who can log into time control and what kind of access that they get. Uh, Joe Gardner is a user of the system, he's an administrator, and he has logged in with that profile. Uh, we also require employees. Timesheets are done underneath an employee name, uh, and often a user and an employee will be the same, uh, but we have the option to have some employees who are not users, so an employee, an employee entry is essential. Uh, and finally, charge codes. Charge codes are essential because these are the things that we'll charge in a timesheet. Okay, let's go down to the bottom half of the page and take a look at the uh, screen here for the employee as an example. Uh, for employees, we have, uh, we have a list of employees on the left. On the right-hand side, we have the information uh, identifying that employee's uh, information. We have a start date for when should timesheets uh, submissions begin, when should they submit their first timesheet and a finish date if that person has left the company to say don't look anymore for timesheets from this person. We look for this information when we are making a missing timesheet report. Uh, in this case we can link this employee also to the resource table and you can see we have information here about uh, about the number of banked hours for vacation, for sick leave, and for personal time. Some tables will have other information uh, in terms of additional fields. By default every table has three fields and those fields can optionally be linked to possible values um, in order to uh, fill, fill them in. We can have dozens and dozens of these kinds of fields for each one of the tables and they can be used for linking information later to a finance system, an HR system, a payroll system, or a project system. Uh, in the case of the employee table we also have information very specific to the employee including what filters would apply to that employee's uh, list of uh, projects and charges and what is the order of approval for their timesheets. Not every table will have that. At the top of every table though we're going to be able to filter information. We can, uh, we can filter information for any of the existing fields. Uh, so I can say for example the uh, first name uh, begins with an A. Uh, oops, and I've got to click that properly. An A and now we see only Alex uh, appears on our list. So, uh, so we can we can uh, do this at any time to say show us the show us the information. Uh, if we have a great deal of information, show us the information for any of these uh, any of these fields. We can also simply click on the uh, top of the column in order to sort the information that way in order to select it. If you have the rights, then the options tab will allow the options button will allow you to do different things, such as uh, adding a new column uh, to the other information. All right, let's take a look briefly at a couple of the other uh, tables. If we look at the project table, for example, uh, this is this defines uh, projects, and underneath projects we can put charges. That's an option. Not everyone wants to work that way, but in this case we can see that we have uh, projects. We have again other information. Uh, and in this case, this was freeform information that could be typed in. And we can link uh, our projects to project management tools. All of the tables have these, uh, these kinds of tabs and have this ability to, uh, to look up information. Uh, and all of the tables allow you to search for information uh, by clicking on the search button and finding that immediate record. If I go looking for the TC deploy, then I go to that immediately and we have TC deploy on our uh, on our screen. So uh, so this is a way that we can uh, that we can find the information that we require uh, quickly inside time control and all of these tables are used in the background for being able to determine uh, to determine what we charge to and who gets to charge information in the system. Control to each of the tables is managed in the security area in the user profiles 
section where we say who can edit what table and even what records can they see if they are able to edit. So tables, the backbone of time control, very easy to manipulate, uh, easy to control for the end user.